dear students i will continue the lecture on coordinate vectors in the vector space till the previous lecture we discussed about uh, the vector space subspace and uh, uh, basis and dimension and also the linear combination of the given set of vectors followed by the scalars in this lecture i shall discuss about uh, the coordinate vectors and uh, how the given set of vectors will form the coordinate vectors and what is the meaning of this uh, coordinate vectors and the linear combination how these linearly independent and linearly dependent first of all let me define what is the meaning of this coordinate of uh, vectors so the first definition uh, we consider that s is a group of vectors coordinate vectors this is uh, the topic and uh, here define s is equal to set of vectors u1 u2 u3 and so on up to un is defined uh, as the basis as the basis for a vector space for vector space u since u is that is vector space u is a vector in u capital so uh, then it can be expressed <coughs> otherwise it can be arranged it can be arranged as u is equal to as a linear combination c1 u1 plus c2 u2 plus so on plus up to cn un this is equation number 1 here the values the values c1 c2 and cn are the scalars are the scalars <coughs> then these are called uh, even scalars the values the values of c1 cn or the coordinates or the coordinates of the u in that vector space in capital u capital u and it is denoted by it is denoted by that is u of s z equal to c1 c2 c3 and so on up to cn this is also in the brackets then <coughs> this is the coordinate of course any vector what we consider then the corresponding uh, calculated values will be written as u at the suffix s yes, this is equal to the coordinate vectors this is called the symbol which represents coordinate of vectors that means uh, suppose two vectors are given you will get two scalars three vectors are given you will get three scalars and so on therefore for each value of this that means for each uh, vector you will attach one uh, the corresponding scalar you will attach the corresponding scalar means Uh, written as a group of vectors that should be also in the linear uh, combination form then this represents coordinate vectors so this is the symbol commonly used to, to represent uh, coordinate vectors now based on this information i shall take an example uh, to prove that how this condition is to be satisfied determine determine the coordinate determine the coordinate <coughs> vector of x equal to that is 10 5 and 0 relative relative to the following basis relative to the following basis where the basis values are given that is following basis means the first question it is the standard basis 
the standard basis basis in R Q. That means region with the three values. Region with three values means S is equal to E one comma E two comma E three. This is the first question. And second question that is B, the basis A, the basis A is equal to three uh, vectors in a group that is U one, U two, and U three, where U one is equal to numbers are given one minus one that is one, and U two that is given. Zero one, it is two, and u three, it is given. That is three, it is zero, and then minus one. So these are the questions that uh, that are to be answered with uh, uh, three vectors for the second question and three bases they are given. That is e one, e two, e three in the region that is with the three uh, values. Okay. So let us answer one by one how these. Uh, two questions can be answered for the coordinate vector. <coughs> the first question can be answered by writing its linear combination uh, for the given uh, uh, basis, that is, in terms of e one, e two, e three. Therefore, we can write uh, the first one given as uh, x values as ten, five, and zero. Therefore, to write the first question answer, to write x equal to that is ten, five, and zero as a linear combination, as a linear combination of linear combination of the given basis. The given basis means e one, e two, and e three. That means it is given in the first question. S is equal to e one, e two, e three. Of the given basis, S is equal to e one, e two, and this is e three. As we will write, that is x equal to ten. That is five uh, and zero will be compared with e one, e two, and E three, okay. So this is equal to yes means group of basis vectors. Then we can write x is equal to that is x one into e one and x two into e two and x three into e three. Then you can substitute uh, these values for x one, x two, and x three. Therefore, x one e one means that is e one is equal to e one e two e three. Where x one that is multiplied by ten plus five that is multiplied by x two uh, uh, that is ten into x one and this is x two and plus zero that is e value that is e three value into x three. Therefore, ten x one plus five x two and plus zero into x three. This is for the linear combination. In terms of the given basis, in terms of the given basis means S is equal to e one, e two, e three. Therefore, these three are the scalars. Ten is the value of c one, five is the value of c two, and zero is the value of c three. So there are three values. Now we can write uh, all these three put together. Uh, that is x of s, x of s. We can write this is equal to ten five. And zero, that is equal to something like capital X of S. You can write capital X of S, which is called the coordinate vector. That means uh, it is regarded. It is regarded as coordinate vector. It is regarded as coordinate vector. But the given vector is x equal to this much coordinate vector itself. That means it is called the self-explained or self-defined vector. 
that means 10, 5, 0, these three numbers will form the coordinate vector as it is. Now, uh, we will answer the second question. There are three values given uh, for the group of vectors and how this will form the coordinate vector we will verify. Now, answer to the question B, let A is equal to u1, u2 and u3 where u1 is equal to what? That is 1 minus 1 that is plus 1 and u2 is equal to what? 0, 1 and then it is 2 and u3 is equal to what? 3, it is 0 and minus 1. Then therefore, we form the linear combination let x is equal to as we have written linear combination for this as this one. So, x is equal to x1 e1 plus x2 e2 plus x3 e3. Here the vectors in place of e1, e2, e3 are u1, u2 and u3. You can write it as that is uh, u1 uh, c, uh, multiplied by the scalar c1 plus of u2 multiplied by the scalar c2 that is u3 multiplied by the scalar uh, c3 that is equal to x. So, then we can take the given values uh, for x in the left side 10, 5 and 0 that is 10, 5 in place of x uh, that is 0. This is equal to c1, c1 multiplied by what? c1 multiplied by first vector 1 minus 1, 1 plus of that is c2 multiplied by 0 that is 1 that is 2 plus of c3 multiplied by 3 and then 0 and then minus 1. Then we will check uh, the values uh, after calculating c1, c2, c3. First of all, we will form the equations in terms of c1 uh, from the first bracket, c2 from the second bracket and c3 from the third bracket as first value, second value and third value and afterwards you can compare first equation with 10, second equation with 5 and third equation with 0. So, now we will recall this one as 3 equations 1 into c1, 1 into c1 from the first bracket plus 0 into c2 that is from the second bracket 0 into c2 and uh, plus of it is minus 1 into c3. Uh, this should be equated to, uh, otherwise you can write in one bracket, write in one bracket and plus of, plus of second number from this that is minus 1 into c1, second number from this 1 into uh, uh, c2 that is and second number from this third vector that is plus of 0 into c3 and plus of plus of third number from this first bracket 1 into c1 and third number from the second bracket 2 into it is c2 and third number minus of 1 into it is c3 that is equal to that is equal to uh, 10 5 0 that is in the place of x then each equation that is c1 plus 0 into c2 minus c3 equal to first number that is 10. Next in the second bracket if you select that is minus c1 and plus c2 and plus 0 into c3 that is 0 into c3 this is equal to second number that you can equate it as 5 and third bracket that is c1 plus 2 times c2 minus of c3 that is equal to 0. So, therefore, you have 3 equations with uh, 3 unknowns in the matrix form also you can write that is 1 minus 1 1 0 this is plus 1 this is plus 2 and this is minus 1 and this is 0 and this is minus of 1 and multiply to c1 c2 and c3 this is equal to 10 it is 5 and then it is 0 
this is your matrix equation with uh, three unknowns just like that this is uh, the coefficient matrix and this is the column matrix and this is also column matrix with b right this is column matrix with b otherwise this is column matrix with uh, x okay so determine the coordinate uh, of this so coordinates here you have to calculate the values of c1 c2 and c3 as, as a result if you obtain uh, the values uh, c1 c2 c3 by solving these equations that means you can write uh, uh, these two values as zero by the elementary row operation with this this is anyway pivotal element so pivotal element means r1 plus r2 affecting on r2 next is that is r1 minus r2 r3 affecting on r3 then you can write the, the calculation as a row operation then the result of that you can operate you will get on the right side uh, changes in uh, second uh, element that means in the first column uh, sorry last column second element and third element okay so this is equivalent to the matrix first row will remain as same that is 1 0 minus 1 and this is minus 1 this becomes 0 r1 plus r2 this is 1 remains r1 plus r2 minus 1 remains and this is as it is c1 c2 and c3 this is equal to this is 10 and then this should be minus 1 this becomes 0 r1 minus r3 r1 minus r3 means this becomes minus 2 r1 minus r3 this becomes a 0 and then r1 minus r3 this becomes a 10 and r1 plus r2 this becomes 15 this is 10 minus 0 and 10 plus 5 because r1 plus r2 still one more uh, you have to do it so this element you have to convert as 0 by the pivotal element as 1 so here second row we have disturbed and uh, this will be in the next uh, case that is uh, uh, r1 uh, sorry r2 and this should be uh, plus of 1 by 2 it is r3 affecting on r3 then you can write equivalent to then you can write equivalent to that is first column will be same and second column 0 1 and this is 0 and minus 1 minus 1 r2 plus 1 by 2 so that becomes minus 1 only then c1 c2 and c3 and this becomes 10 15 10 15 r1 plus 1 by 2 r3 1 by 2 r uh, sorry r2 plus 1 by 2 r3 r2 means 15 plus 1 by 2 10 by 2 means it is 5 that becomes 20 so therefore the third element in the last column is 20 now you will uh, uh, back substitution you will uh, consider and then you will follow the values of c1 c2 c3 okay so uh, anyway this uh, uh, rank of this matrix is uh, 3 and obviously rank of the augmented matrix is 3 therefore by back substitution anyway the system is said to be consistent and that gives us unique solution by back substitution by back substitution we have uh, c1 plus 0 into c2 and uh, minus of uh, c3 that is equal to 10 next is c2 and um, minus of c3 this is equal to 15 then it is minus of c3 it is equal to 20 therefore c3 is equal to 20 c3 is equal to 20 means then this equation gives c2 is equal to 20 uh, will be taken to the right side that is 35 and c c1 will be selected c1 will be selected by taking c3 c3 is equal to 20 uh, sorry c3 uh, this is minus c3 is equal to 20 then c3 is equal to minus 20 so c3 is equal to minus 20 uh, this becomes minus 20 uh, c3 is equal to minus 20 and minus minus plus it is okay and that if I take to the right side that is minus 5 c2 is minus 5 this value changes because c3 is with minus sign 
and uh, C3 if I substitute with minus this becomes plus 20 I am taking to the right side uh, that becomes minus 15 minus 20 should give us minus 5 and uh, that is C1 which you have to obtain that is anyway this term is uh, 0 then C1, C1 uh, minus C3, C3 is how much minus of minus 20 that is equal to 10. So, this becomes plus 20, C1 is equal to 10 minus of 20 again. So, C1 is equal to minus 10, this is the value. Therefore, C1 is equal to minus 10, C2 is equal to minus 5 and C3 is equal to minus 20. So, these are the three values which we got uh, for uh, defining the coordinate uh, vectors, coordinate vectors. Therefore, the values of uh, 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 vectors in the form of scalars, this implies coordinate vectors are that is minus 10, minus 5 and minus 20, minus 20. Uh, all the three are minus it looks, minus 20, minus 5 and then minus 10. Are the, are the coordinate vectors, are the coordinate vectors. So, this is uh, the answer for the second question. Now, of the same type, one more uh, problem I will take to find the coordinate vectors in the form of some equation, not in the form of vectors. Let us see how that uh, equation behaves to give the coordinate uh, vectors. Next uh, problem on the same uh, requirement that is find the coordinate vector coordinate vector of p is equal to 4 minus 2x plus 3 x square relative to the following basis relative to the following basis. That is first question, the standard basis, the standard basis for P2 yes, P2 yes is equal to 1 x and x square and uh, we will uh, answer this and the second question the basis for the basis for p2 comma a that is s is equal to that much a is equal to p1 it is p2 and p3 that is in a group so now i will answer one by one uh, the first question easily you can make out by the comparison that is p is equal to this much and uh, p2 uh, suppose uh, you consider this as uh, uh, you know, basis then in place of 1 what is the number in place of x what is the number that means the coefficient and in place of x square what is the number there are three successive numbers three successive observations which you can make out from the given equation so answer to the first question we can uh, consider like this uh, <coughs> the coordinate vector, the coordinate vector for the coordinate vector for this one that is P2, yes, that is equal to 1x and x square, 1x and x square that is for P. This is a given vector given vector that is equal to 4 minus 2x plus of 3 x square is is that is p you can write s yes, that is equal to the coefficients. So, in place of this 1 that means you can write it as this one where uh, 
P is equal to this much. This can be taken as P is equal to 1 into 4 and uh, uh, plus of x into minus 2 plus of x square into 3. Therefore, you can easily choose this is first number, this is second number and this is third number for defining the coordinate vectors. What is the first number? That should be 4. Second number coefficient of x, it is minus 2. Third number coefficient of x square, that is 3. So, this is coordinate vector for the uh, given p in terms of this group of vectors, group of vectors which are written in the form of standard basis. Then, second question is to be answered here, uh, let p2, that is p2 of a takes P2 of uh, what is that? A, second question, A is equal to P1, that is P2 and it is P3. Implies that is P1 is equal to 4 from the, uh, uh, from the given vector. What is that given vector? From the given vector. From the given vector, P is equal to 4 minus 2x plus of 3x square. We have the first term p, p is equal to p1, p2, p3. Therefore, p1 is equal to 4 and p2 is equal to minus 4x and p3 is equal to 5x square and minus 1. 5x square minus 1 because it is in the given order there we can find out with reference to the given values that is uh, p1, p2, p3 and uh, already uh, that value is given as uh, 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 standard vector as p is equal to 4 minus 2 plus of 3 x square. Therefore, this uh, c1 values are to be calculated as a linear combination. Then we will take 4 minus 2 x, 4 minus 2 x plus 3 x square is equal to c into p1 plus uh, uh, that is c1 into c2, p2 plus of c3, it is p3. Therefore, for the second uh, vector, second question, it is, it is given in the order where these p values are given, that is p1, p2, p3. Here, these three values, what are those three values? 4 comma minus 4x comma 5x square minus 1. So, accordingly I am taking C1 into P1 plus C2 into P, P2 plus C3 into P3. Okay. So, you substitute P1 that is 4, 4 C1 and uh, minus 4 X into P2 that is uh, 4 X, 4 X into that is C2 and 5 X square, 5 X square minus 1 into C3, but left side that is 4 minus 2x and plus of 3x square. So, what you want to calculate here? Uh, C1, C2, C3. Then you can easily compare these values with uh, C1 into C1 into 4 and uh, that is first number. Uh, it is given as 4, 4 minus 4x because those three values are given. Uh, first one P1 is equal to 2. Sorry, this is not 4. This is equal to 2 and here also it is equal to 2. Therefore, uh, 2 C1 is equal to 4, that is the first equation. And next equation, that is minus of 4, because x coefficient you are comparing, minus 4, it is C2 here, minus 4 into C2 is equal to minus 2. And uh, last uh, comparison, that is 5x square, right, 5x square minus 1, and C3. That means here uh, this can be further written 2C1 minus 4x into C2 plus 5x square and minus C3. So, minus C3 can be clubbed uh, with this minus 3C plus 2 one, uh, 2C1 because this is independent of the coefficient. Independent of the coefficient means it is not multiplied by x or it is not multiplied by x square. Therefore, this is minus C3 can be taken with uh, 2C1 that is minus C3 plus 2C1 is equal to constant. 
and x coefficient is minus 4 into c2 that is equal to minus 2 and uh, the this value will be uh, x square coefficient will be that is 5 x square 5 x square into c3. So, uh, another one is 5 c3 because 5 x square c3 is there and left side is left side is 3 z equal to 3. Therefore, 3 values you can uh, collect by comparing that 3 values all the 3 values we will verify how these three constants will become as the coordinate vector. Okay. The first calculation minus C3 minus C3 plus 2C1 is equal to plus 4. This is one equation. Second equation minus 4C2 is equal to minus of 2. This is the second equation. And next equation 5C3 is equal to 3. This is the third equation. And uh, you can collect uh, that is C3. Here C3 and C1 means first you have to find out the C3. So C3 is equal to 3 by 5. This is the value. And C2 is equal to that is 1 by 2. Because 2 by 4 you are taking. This is the value of C2. Then C3 you can substitute as C3 you can substitute as 3 by 5 minus 3 by 5 plus of 2C1 is equal to 4. Then 2C1 is equal to 4 plus 3 by 5 because minus 3 by 5 is taken to the other side. Then 5 for the 20, 23. So 23 by 5 is 2C1. Then C1 is equal to 23 by 10. This is the value. So, this is number 1, this is number 2 and this is number 3. Then you can write the coordinate uh, vectors. So, required coordinates, required coordinates, coordinates of the vector is equal to, required coordinates of the vector is equal to that that can be indicated as uh, p of a right p of a is equal to like c1 c2 and c3 so what are those values these values are nothing but c1 is 23 by 10 and c2 is equal to 1 by 2 and c3 is equal to 3 by 5 so these are the three coordinates of vectors uh, according to the given uh, statement according to the given statement means given uh, equation and the corresponding vectors. So, this is how uh, we are going to calculate uh, the coordinate of uh, vectors and when once it is uh, to be solved with uh, uh, equation, then you have to compare from LHS to RHS. Then if you want to compare with uh, uh, the form of the matrix, then in the form of matrix that we have to work out. So, let us see uh, in the in another example how these matrices uh, uh, values will be compared with uh, uh, the given equation to find out the coordinate vectors that is in the uh, next example determine this is the next example determine coordinate vectors determine coordinate vector of minus 1, 1 and it is 0, 4 relative to the following, relative to the following basis, following basis. That means uh, in the plural sense, that is first question, uh, the standard basis the standard basis S is equal to that is in the brackets 1 0 0 0 this is the matrix and uh, 0 0 1 0 this is the matrix next is 0 1 1 0 next is 0 0 0 1 this is the first question 
and second question is to be answered the basis the basis of a the basis of a means that is a is equal to u1 u2 u3 u4 there are four uh, vectors with this basis four vectors are there and this is given by uh, u1 that is that should be 1 0 0 0 this is in the same type uh, here as 2 cross 2 matrix this is also 2 cross 2 and this is also 2 cross 2 then the next uh, uh, matrix is 2 0 and 0 uh, this is minus 1 0 this is the second matrix means second value of the vector that is u2 then the third matrix that is 0 1 1 0 and the next last one that is u4 uh, minus 3 0 and it is 2 so with this we have to calculate what are the coordinate vectors so let us see for all, uh, uh, for the given two sets of uh, matrices how the coordinate vectors are going to be obtained so first one let me answer first according to the given set of matrices as a linear combination once again by introducing totally how many scalars 1 2 3 4 totally four scalars you have to introduce okay now according to the uh, according to four scalars now we can write let the given uh, uh, coordinate vector minus 1 0 1 4 will be compared is equal to that is multiplied by c1 <coughs> multiplied by c1 c2 c3 and so on okay so this should be minus 1 and uh, uh, is to be operated like uh, the first one multiplication 1 0 0 0 next is that is uh, operated to 1 that is plus 1 plus of 1 into to be multiplied to this 0 0 1 0 and plus of 0 this is to be taken for this 0 0 1 1 and plus of the last number that is 4 to 0 0 0 1 so with this we are getting the values uh, when you compare with uh, the calculation because when you take this multiplication inside for example the first one if you write minus that becomes minus 1 0 0 then the second one uh, it remains to be same that is 0 0 that is uh, 1 0 and third one that also remains to be same but the changes uh, 0 here this is also 0 this is also 0 this is also 0 this is called null matrix because all the elements are 0 inside then uh, this should be 0 0 0 and 4 is multiplied to 1 that becomes 4 therefore uh, you are adding all the uh, 4 those values you can get minus 1 it is 1 0 and then it is 4 that is with uh, uh, plus 4 sorry that is with plus 4 ok so plus 4 means here minus 1 0 1 it is 4 so coordinates are themselves whatever the elements are given in the left side matrix so this is the answer for the first question now the second question is to be answered in the similar way uh, we consider this one u3 but you can attach the values as c1 c2 c3 for this problem because uh, in the first case what happens we have taken uh, the uh, given matrix with the coordinate vector with these elements and we have compared now for the second question the basis of a second question is to be answered in the form of linear combination therefore the given vector minus 1 answer to the question b minus 1 0 and 1 1 4 they should be equated to c1 the first uh, uh, first matrix that means in the question number b 1 0 0 1 0 and plus of c2 that is 2 minus 1 0 0 plus c3 and this is uh, multiplied by 0 1 1 0 and plus of c4 multiplied by that is minus 3 0 0 2 then you take this c inside 
you take the C inside afterwards you take the addition of all these four matrices. This is multiplied by C1 means 1 into C1 and remaining all 0 because 0 is multiplied to C1 plus of C2 when you take that is 2 times of C1 uh, sorry C2 and this is minus C2 this is 0 this is 0 plus of C3 when you take inside 0 this is C3 this is 0 this is C3 because 1 1 are there and plus C4 plus C4 and minus of 3 times C4 0 0 and 2 times of C4. Now, if you want you can form uh, the, the set of uh, uh, combinations from all the four uh, vectors set of combinations means first element here first element first element plus of second element plus of third element plus of fourth element that is C4 is taken inside ok. Uh, if you form like that there will be totally uh, uh, 2 cross 2 you are getting. So, 2 cross 2 will be in addition as remains to be 2 cross 2 this must be C1 plus 2 C2 right plus 0 and plus minus of it is 3 times C4. Next 0 this is second element, second element, second element, second element 0 plus 0 plus C3 and plus 0. I will close here up to 0 then minus C2 then plus 0 then plus of 0 then next is 0 minus C2 uh, sorry 0 plus 0 and plus of C3 plus of 2 times C4 then left side minus 1 0 this is 1 and 4 you will compare all these 4 matrices ok. Let us uh, uh, write in the simplified form C1 plus C2 uh, that is 2 times of C2 minus 3 C4. In the next one only C2. In the uh, third element that is C3 because all the 3 are 0. Here C3 and plus of 2 times it is C4. It is easy to compare uh, the first element with the first element after the simplification, second element with the second scalar you can easily make out that is minus 1 minus 1 is equal to C1 plus 2 C2 minus of 3 C4 ok and uh, this is one equation and another equation C3 is equal to 0. Next third equation C2 is equal to 1 and fourth equation last one that is C3 <coughs> plus 2 times of C4 that is equal to 4. So, what are the values then? C3 is equal to 0 you can round off, C1, C2 is equal to 1 it, you can round off and C2 where it is required uh, here, C2 where it is required here minus 1 is equal to C1. C3, C3 is already 0 here, then 2 times of C4 is equal to 4 and C4 is equal to 2. So, this is the value. C2 is over, C3 is over, C4 is over and uh, what else? That is C1 and C2. C2 means 1 plus 2 times into 1 and minus 3 C4 that is 2 minus 3 into 2. Therefore, minus 1 is equal to C1 and plus of 2 minus of 6. Therefore, 2 minus 6 is minus 4 here that will be shifted to other side uh, minus 4 becomes plus 4 then C1 is equal to 3. Therefore, the coordinate vectors for the given uh, set of uh, matrices that is set of vectors the coordinate vector for the question number B is this required required coordinate vectors required coordinate vector is equal to is equal to what is that required coordinate vector related to this that means relative 
relative to the given relative to the given vector relative to the given vector is equal to c1 c2 c3 and c4 what are the values these calculated values of all the four scalars all the four scalars means the first value c1 where it is that is 3 first number is 3 and c2 that is 1 and c3 that is 0 and c4 it is 2 so this is the required coordinate vector so with this uh, the uh, topic of uh, <coughs> coordinate vector is uh, covered and the last uh, discussion in this is computations concerning with the subspaces computations concerning with the subspaces deals with uh, the vectors uh, which are given in the question then you have to construct a new vector you have to assume a new vector and with respect to the given values how the new vector values are to be obtained so that is to be calculated let us see how that uh, um, computations concerning with the reference to the subspaces can be calculated that I shall discuss. computations concerning computations concerning the subspaces this is the last application in that module then how these computations will work uh, we will have to see through uh, the linear combination of the vectors let me write the uh, meaning of this computations concerning the subspaces. Suppose we are given the field, suppose uh, alpha 1, alpha 2 up to alpha n are the given vectors, are the given vectors in the field f, in the field f because you know that addition and multiplication are to be hold good in the field EF. Okay. In the field EF, these are the vectors, new vectors which I am choosing. Now, we can study, we can study, we can study the linearly independence, linearly independence of alpha 1, alpha 2 up to alpha n <coughs> in f this is one point and we can study there are three points which we have to cover we can study the second point the dimension of the subspace we can study of dimension of subspace dimension of the subspace w in the vector space in the vector space that is capital v and the third point third point if beta is in f in f then the linear combination then the linear combination linear combination in the given field in the given field in the given field with reference to with reference to alpha 1 comma alpha 2 and up to alpha up to alpha n as given vectors as the given vectors so we will study all these uh, three uh, uh, are to be valid whatever the uh, vectors are given they, those vectors are to be satisfied by the addition and the scalar multiplication 
So let us also try this one true example how this uh, linear uh, 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 combination will work in order to say that uh, the computation concerning the subspace. You know that W is a sub subspace and vector space is V. Okay. So once again we will try to follow the same uh, 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 expectations that is whatever the number of given vectors are there those vectors will form those vectors will for, uh, form otherwise those vectors will satisfy the vector addition concept and uh, the uh, scalar multiplication concept. So let me write an example for this how this uh, is going to work uh, and uh, how this is to be calculated for forming this linear combination then subspace and linearly independence of these vectors. Okay. I will write an example for this. Let W be the subspace let w be the subspace in that is region with four different values here instead of three four different values spanned spanned by the vectors there are three vectors given alpha 1 z equal to 1 2 2 and then 1 and alpha 2 is equal to 0, it is 2, 0 and 1 and alpha 3 is equal to that is uh, minus 2, 0, minus 4 and then 3. Then there are questions like uh, 4 questions. Let me answer the question number uh, C that means uh, A prove that prove that the vectors prove that the vectors alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3 form the basis form the basis w form the basis and w linearly independent linearly independent this is first question and the second question with reference to the same second question with reference to the same uh, how this w is a subspace with reference to the given three vectors alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 uh, how they are spanned in the region that is totally four values 1 2 3 4 values and the second question is beta is equal to that is uh, b1 b2 b3 b4 be a vector in subspace be a vector in subspace that is w so you can easily make out you take c1 c2 c3 for this you can write a linear combination of all these three that means you will form a vector linear combination for all these four values then you will get four different equations and you will have to solve for uh, uh, three uh, values that means uh, uh, three values of scalars that means c1, c2, c3. Afterwards you can say that how these uh, uh, they are spanned in the region with the four different values. So remaining discussions I will continue in my next lecture. Thank you.